Neville Goddard imparted to his students the wisdom that the world serves as a reflection of oneself. The world itself remains unalterable, but the power to effect change lies within you. You possess the capacity to transform the state of your mind and your imagination. Should you aspire to reshape the world or anything within it, the key lies in becoming the embodiment of your desires. Unfortunately, many individuals struggle to comprehend their true nature and, as a result, become disillusioned with the world. When faced with displeasure, it becomes imperative to address one's mindset and perception, particularly for those in the manifestation community grappling with the realization of their desires. This is the focal point of our discussion in today's video. Before we delve into that, ensure you subscribe to our channel, Quantum Consciousness, and hit the bell icon to become part of our YouTube family. Now, let's proceed. The renowned mystic writer and self-help teacher, Neville Goddard, advocated refraining from attempting to alter the world, as it is fundamentally a reflection. Endeavors to forcefully change the world are as futile as breaking a mirror in the hope of transforming one's reflection. Leave the world undisturbed and redirect your focus to transforming your self-perception. Have you grasped the essence of Neville Goddard's quote? Do you still find yourself frustrated with the world? Neville Goddard asserted that the world mirrors your inner state. It acts as a reflection. Allowing frustration towards the world is akin to shattering the mirror, expecting it to modify the image it reflects. To alter your reflection in the mirror, you must change yourself and the mirror will faithfully display your transformation. Similarly, the behavior of others and their interactions with you will naturally change as you master the art of self-transformation. As you progress, you will witness individuals embracing the law of assumption to reshape their lives. Many people in the manifestation community seek to apply Neville Goddard's teachings to manifest their desires swiftly and effortlessly. They employ the law of assumption to manifest various objectives, such as wealth, employment, business success, or prosperity. Those aspiring to manifest a life partner, spouse, or a specific person may also find themselves part of this community. However, a significant portion of individuals practices the law of assumption solely for these manifestations, neglecting a comprehensive study of the underlying principles. The simplicity of the technique often leads them to apply it without delving into the depth of Neville Goddard's teachings. While people learn Neville Goddard's manifestation techniques, many overlook the profound nature of his teachings. Consequently, a full comprehension of Neville Goddard's intended lessons eludes them. This oversight may explain why more individuals find it simpler to engage in the law of assumption. When faced with challenges like losing the identity of a specific person or having them exit one's life, people search for alternative methods online to reunite with them. Exploring various techniques, they eventually discover Neville Goddard's teaching that everyone is a projection of oneself. This concept might be entirely new to many, but it resonates, providing clarity on personal experiences and their reasons. Neville Goddard's teachings offer valuable insights, addressing questions that were previously unanswered. However, some individuals, upon discovering Neville Goddard's teachings, opt to delve deeper into his body of work to gain a comprehensive understanding, an effort that many in the community have yet to make. This lack of thorough exploration may be the reason why some still struggle to shift their self-perception. Consequently, many attempt to change the world instead of embarking on the transformative journey of changing themselves. 
It's akin to looking at the mirror and harboring resentment because the reflection doesn't align with one's liking, forgetting that the mirror faithfully reflects the essence of oneself. It is a reflection of you, and the truth is that you are not willing to delve deep to discover who you really are. You try to analyze yourselves, and as a result, blame others for the things that happen in your lives. You listened to people for all the negative events that occurred in your lives and became a part of them. It is the only reality. This means that how something appears to you depends on your own thoughts. Nothing is inherently good or bad. Nothing is ugly or beautiful. It is your own imagination that determines whether some people are ugly or beautiful. If you have only learned about Neville Goddard's teachings but have not applied them, you won't be able to change anything. If you want to see a change in your life, you need to apply Neville Goddard's teachings to your life. Many people have done just that and witnessed great results. People who genuinely want to manifest their desires not only seek techniques and methods, but also acquire knowledge and apply these teachings to significant aspects of their lives. That's how they change their reality. They learn more and more, test, and apply what they discover. Their knowledge improves over time, but they never think that what they have is everything. This is what keeps them moving. They manage to stay afloat, finding it increasingly challenging than when they started, sometimes growing even more desperate. Now, let me share with you a quote from Neville Goddard. He says that you cannot serve two masters or opposing states of consciousness at the same time. What does this mean? Well, it will open new ways of imagining and looking at your situation. If you truly understand this, you know that Neville Goddard says you are the creator of your reality. You are the god of your reality. In your life, you decide what to do, who to approach, and your situation and circumstances reflect the state of your mind. Your physical life reflects your mental state. This means that everything is under your control. What you desire, you can make happen. So, in simple terms, we can say that you are God. But in most cases, people present themselves as victims when it comes to manifesting their desires. You know you are the god of your reality, you can choose your reality, and it's all in your hands. So, if you present yourself as a victim, you don't truly understand what the law of assumption is. You haven't grasped the core concepts of Neville Goddard's teachings. When you are the god of your reality, you don't need to worry about anything, everything is under your control. Don't think that you can manifest your desire, think that you have already manifested it. It's really strange to see people presenting themselves as victims while believing that they are the creators. You can't be asking for help and presenting yourself as a manifestation master because these are two completely opposite things. That's why Neville Goddard said you cannot serve two masters at the same time. You can't have two mental states simultaneously. This is commonly observed in the manifestation community. You can't feel that you have already manifested your desire and simultaneously believe that you will never manifest it. Everyone is desperate to manifest their desire, but you can't manifest it until you fully understand the law of assumption and apply the strategy with complete knowledge of it. When you are desperate or serving two masters, living in two states at the same time, you cannot manifest your desire. Buying the pearl of great value is the cost of being in a position to direct the manifestation of your desires. Neville Goddard asks you to believe and feel as if you were God, but when you believe in some God outside of you, you are actually confusing your mind. You don't need to ask anyone for help in manifesting your desires when you are the God of your reality. You must enter the state of being God and act while remaining in that state, think while remaining in the state of being God, and make decisions while living in the state of being God. Nothing can stop you from manifesting your desire if you do this. You might think this way when you study and fully understand the law of assumption and go through everything Neville Goddard has taught. When you are serving two masters at the same time, there is a conflict within you. Perhaps one part of you makes you believe that you are responsible for everything in your life, but another part of you is praying to some God to help you get what you desire. If you are in this situation now, serving two masters, what happens to you is very serious. This hinders you from manifesting what you want because you have two opposing opinions about yourself at the same time, two opposing beliefs and feelings about the world. 
The most important thing you should do in the law of assumption is to assume that you are God and feel it. You must remain in this state of being God. When you exit this state, you close all possibilities of manifesting your desire. Two different opinions about yourself divide you internally, and obviously, you cannot decide what to do to manifest your desire. You get stuck between two different situations, and that's what is preventing you from manifesting. The solution to this is simple. You just need to ask yourself a single question. Why is it difficult for you to accept that you are the God of your reality? If you can ask and answer this question after analyzing all the facts and reviewing your entire life, you will be able to see more clearly and discover what is hindering you. Now, let's talk about a specific person in your life. As I mentioned, perhaps most people practice the law of assumption or the law of attraction just to manifest a specific person in their lives. Some people are so involved in the need for this specific person in their lives that they end up ignoring how fortunate they are to watch this video, where they can learn to know who they really are, experience the knowledge of their true essence. I believe that you were not born to cling to another human being. Instead, you were born to experience life as a human being in the universe and discover who you really are through this experience. That is the purpose of your life. The pursuit of that specific person was just an excuse, an incident to lead you to truly know yourself. It may be difficult for some of you to accept, but believe me, you were not born to revolve around a specific person. The primary purpose of your life is to find yourself and discover who you really are. When you know your own worth and know who you really are, you won't need a specific person to live your life with. Instead, you value yourself, you are God and the creator of your reality, which means you need nothing, you already have everything. So why do you need someone in your life? When you can understand this concept, you will be able to have everything you desire, be who you want to be in such an easy way that you'll wonder why you resisted and prevented it from happening before. Neville Goddard advised not to be an enemy to oneself. He says you have nothing to do except convince yourself of the truth of what you want to see manifested. I observe that many people do not accept themselves as they are, resisting the very thing that liberates them, and that thing is surrender. You need to surrender to yourself, accept yourself to live a happy and satisfied life. You need to understand and surrender to your true essence. You must surrender to your desire as if it has already manifested because, by following the law of assumption, you are obliged to believe blindly, without any doubt, that your desire has already been manifested. Therefore, you need to accept that your desire has already been manifested, what you desire is already yours. There is nothing and no one working against you, no competition, no third parties, or free will because you are the creator of your own world, only you. Finally, you will understand this reality, and then you will be free. Your need prevents you from freeing yourself and manifesting these things. You know, God needs nothing, not even help from anyone. So why do you need help from others? Just use the energy you have, use all the inner power you possess. You have all the resources and access to be who you want to be and have what you want to have. In fact, what hinders manifestation is you not realizing that you are God, not staying in the state of being God and thinking like others. In reality, it's you against yourself, you are the universe and everything is yours. So why do you need something when you are everything? You can free yourself from all human limitations. When people don't understand this, they become a significant obstacle in their own lives, preventing them from moving forward towards their dreams. They believe in a God outside themselves, hoping that he will solve all their problems. Still, they don't know that they themselves are God and already have everything in their hands. Everything is within reach, but you don't realize it, don't accept it, or we can say you don't enter that state to feel and observe. Simply put, you don't recognize your power and you don't know who you really are. That's why I'm trying to encourage you to discover who you really are. Most of you still don't fully understand the law of assumption, so learn more about this law and try practicing it. When you start doing this, you will become masters of manifestation and the God of your reality. You will be free, experiencing a change in your reality because you will truly find your power and discover who you really are. I hope this has helped in your manifestation journey and will help more people. If you liked this video, 
Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so we can make more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.